Guys, how we doing? Welcome to Goodworks Tractors. Beautiful spring day. Actually, it's technically winter time still, but a spring feel to it. Gonna be aerating the lawn today. Have the new Sweep All 48 inch tow behind, not a three point, but a tow behind sweeper right here. This is a commercial grade unit, all right? And so not for the faint of heart, but it's still actually a very competitive price if you stack it up against a lot of the three point mounted versions. The difference is gonna be this is commercial grade. This is something that they sell a lot of them to rental um, shops and outfits as well, or to commercial contractors because it can withstand that kind of use. But the difference is this is priced competitively with other consumer grade aerators. So this is a product overview. We're gonna give you all the features, everything you need to know about this aerator right here. But we're gonna follow it up with a field test using it to core aerate my yard, both front and back here this spring. Hey, so if you end up enjoying this video, I'd love to get a thumbs up from you and make sure you hit that subscribe button right down below. And if you want more information on one of these aerators or another product for your tractor, make sure you read through that description below or head on over to goodworkstractors.com. You know, I took a really quick spin, just one pass on the side yard over there. Very impressed with the consistency and the depth of the core plugs that are in here. We have this weighted down with, oh, what did we say, was it 10? 410 pounds. 410 pounds of suitcase weights. You can weight this down with a lot of different things. I'm just using suitcase weights because I have a whole boatload of them on hand, but you can get this with and without this weight box. You can put a 55 gallon drum of water if you want to, or just get the weight box and fill it full of uh, sand or rock or bags of material, whatever you have on hand, just something to put in here and fill it up. So you're going to notice this is a drawbar or a receiver type of hookup, not a three point mount. So anybody that has a garden tractor, this is right up the alley for you. You can also use it, of course, on a subcompact or a compact machine. You know, we have a heavy hitch um, weight bar that's on here and then it has a two inch receiver. So I just have it tied into there just to give me a, a little bit more flexibility raising it up and down. Not that you really need it, but if I have the opportunity, why not? You could also put it right into the pinhole that's on your receiver mount back here or a draw bar that's on the tractor as well. There's a lot of ways to hook this up. Let's take a moment to talk about what's going on underneath. You're gonna see there's two independent sections that are on the left and right side. The reason for that is so if you're turning one way or another, that these two sections can rotate at a different rate. So if you're turning to the left or to the right, the inside is gonna turn a little bit slower than the outside. That way when these spikes or plugs are down in the ground and when you're turning, they're not gonna to want to rip as you're kind of going to the left or going to the right. They're gonna spin at a slower rate and prevent that from occurring. So you're gonna have four of these individual teeth or um, spikes here on each flange. You're gonna have five flanges per side, 10 overall, so you have 20 spikes on this side, 20 on the other side. And so with this core aerator here, you do have the ability to get all the way up to a maximum of four inch deep plugs. As a quick side note or a tangent, why you aerate to begin with, this is like a little core here. It's a good sample of your soil composition that you can see firsthand. You have some little roots all the way down at the bottom sticking down here. You can see the depth that your roots are actually gonna go down for your grass or maybe you have weeds in your lawn or a combination of everything. And you can see the soil color change as you get closer to the top with that organic matter and the nutrients that are sitting up here. And I put a lot of uh, different nutrients on my lawn last year and very sandy soil as you can see further down. But the more you fertilize, the more you add those additional amendments to your lawn, you're gonna have healthier and healthier soil. And you can see how deep these roots wanna be drawn for moisture throughout the summer. You know, this is dormant right now. We're in March, the grass isn't growing, so these roots are here from last fall. It's just kind of an interesting side note to think about how it's all coming together. And so if you think about it another way, the reason why you are core aerating is to loosen up that soil because if it's too compacted and too hard, at a certain point, nutrients and water are not gonna be able to flow all the way down to where the roots are located at. And so you wanna be able to soften that up and loosen it up. It's just a healthy thing to do. Maybe not every year, maybe every other year. It depends on your individual circumstances and scenario that you have going on. I didn't core aerate last year at all. I thought about doing it in the fall, but that's just one of those things I kinda cut it out. I didn't have time to do so. I'm tackling it here this spring. And so whether you hire it out or you wanna tackle it yourself or maybe get an aerator like this, do your own lawn and then hire it out for a few others to help 
paid off a lot quicker. It's part of a healthy lawn regimen. A few other features that really stand out about the Sweet Ball, you're gonna have flat free tires. So there's no need to worry about these going flat over time. You're also gonna have a main body here, the main structure made out of 10 gauge steel. And you're gonna have plenty of greasable Zerk fittings here on both of the wheels at all of your pivot points along the front. You're also gonna have individual grease points with Zerks on both ends of each individual shaft here for the core plugs. Now you can get this equipped with either an electric actuator or a manual lift. I chose to go with the electric actuator. I wanted to highlight what it was all about. I think a manual lift is, is pretty easy to visualize, just a lever that you're gonna raise and lower. The electric allows you to do it right from the operator station, includes all the cabling and a little switch that you can keep up here. You just clip it right onto your uh, battery terminals and then you power it that way. You'll see this is your controller right here. You can pretty much position this wherever you want to, but it does actually have a magnet mounted to the backside. You can stick it right to a piece of metal. Coupled with that, I want you to make sure you notice the extra length of cable. I've just wrapped it around the arm on the ROPS, but basically you wanna have more than enough, that way a variety of applications are gonna be suitable. I do think for most situations, this electric actuator is gonna be a very nice upgrade. The reason being is you think about here in a neighborhood or if you have a sidewalk that you have to constantly cross over as you're going and turning around going each way, you can quickly raise this up from the operator seat there without having to get off, monkey with the lever, spin around, monkey with the lever again, you just simply hit a button and it raises or it lowers. It's gonna be a lot more efficient and comfortable for the operator. Some other things to consider, green is gonna be the standard color for this. Happens to be one of my favorite colors, but if you wanna get another color that is available for an upcharge, it may extend the lead time just a little bit, just know it's an option. There is just one width, it's gonna be 48 inches wide for the operating width. The overall unit is about a foot wider than that with uh, the wheel assemblies that stick out on either end. So if you're interested in placing an order for one of these sweep all aerators, you can do so through me with Goodworks Tractors. The best part is you can get 5% off with code GWT. I take your order, I send it into the factory, and they'll ship it factory direct right to you. Now that code applies to everything at Sweep Ball, including the aerator, but also the sweeper that they have as well. That is gonna be PTO driven. It's great for leaves. It's great for core plugs that we're gonna use it for now. Maybe winter cleanup, maybe even spring cleanup from the sticks here. You have maybe just rock and, and gravel that got spewed into your yard that you wanna clean up after a long winter. Maybe you have walnuts or acorns or construction debris or maybe you own a golf course and you have a lot of goose poop that's all over the place. This can be used for all sorts of different applications. Apples, clay pigeons, all sorts of uses for this sweep all sweeper. You get 5% off with code GWT. Just shoot me an email, I'm happy to help. Now I will say there is a debate about whether you should just leave these plugs in your lawn and let them deteriorate and kind of just flow back into the earth or if you should sweep them all up or rake them all up. Now I have historically left these plugs right in the lawn where they lay, but at that time I had a pretty long or tall grass that I was cutting about three or three and a half inches. I've since transitioned to mowing my lawn at about an inch tall. I use a real mower now to mow it. Um, I'm a little crazy like that. So this year I am definitely gonna wanna sweep all these up because I want as level of a lawn as possible for when I'm mowing. You know, any of those little bumps and ripples are kind of more pronounced and more noticeable. So historically, I've been fine leaving the plugs in the lawn, but that is gonna depend on your application, the final look that you're going for. And even if you wanna give it those two or three or four weeks potentially to kind of dissolve and, and get back down into the earth. All right, that's it folks. Pretty much everything we've gone over here, it's pretty straightforward, pretty easy to talk about, even easier to use. Oh, and you know what? If you like what you see here, I'd love to get a thumbs up from you and make sure you hit that subscribe button right down below. And if you wanna get more information on one of these aerators or maybe another product for your tractor, read through that description right underneath the video or head on over to goodworkstractors.com. Thanks so much for stopping by and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.